Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies, I'm Ian, and we are back with more Cloak and Dagger. The last episode was basically a rewatch, um, something that I don't remember, I didn't, I didn't remember, like, the fact that she, they can see other people's memories, I think, if I'm wrong, correct me, unless I, we find out later what that is about, then don't tell me, please. Yeah, Ty, uh, Tyrone and Tandy met each other again at, at the party, is that them first finding out about their abilities? Because they've had them for a while, so has nothing else happened to them that that they've noticed, or what? Or they guess nothing's put them in that danger. For you, well, uh, Tyrone's wasn't Tyrone wasn't in danger when he first used it. Like he appeared somewhere else, didn't he? Or was that after Tandy? Either way, he like he fell asleep at his home. And then wound up on top of uh, the Raxon Corporation building. So I don't know what sparked his powers. It's just like interacting with her. And I know why he or why she, why Tandy's connected to Roxon. Like well, they're both technically connected because they both got the powers from the spillage or whatever that happened or whatever exactly that caused their abilities. But her father's framed by Roxon. I don't think. Tyrone has any kind of connection with him apart from how he got his abilities. Um, so I don't know why he was teleported to Roxxon. Unless I missed something. Unless his, what, is his uncle a uh, part of Roxxon? Like the the cop that shot his his brother? Is his uncle part of Roxxon? Or is it the police chief or something or whatever? I don't know. They didn't specify exactly who his uncle is. I just kind of assumed the first time that that was that his uncle was the police that covered up for him but it could have been somebody from Roxxon maybe they have because they, they have some kind of connection to one that they framed him um, Tanny's dad in the first place um, yeah she used her powers to accidentally stab the guy that was trying to rape her but I'm not upset he deserves that but I hope he's dead <laughs> um, Tyrone almost got shot by the guy that shot his brother then his power activated it there that's when danger happened. That's when the danger sparked his power. But other times, it, nothing like danger hasn't sparked his ability. I don't know why. It, what sparks his to happen? Is it maybe because she has uh, something against Roxxon, and then whenever his they first met, and then they had that blowback. Whenever he went to bed after that is when he appeared on the Roxxon Corporation building, Corporation building. Um, and then when he saw the cop that killed his brother, was that the same night that he fell asleep and woke up at the, uh, in the trunk? So it was just like he went to sleep and had it in his mind or what, like, or is there something else? Because he doesn't, I don't think he knows about how her dad was framed by Roxxon. He didn't know her in the first place. So to somehow like get a connection, I don't know. I'm not really sure how his abilities work. Like I know th I know what they do. I just don't know like what sparks him here, um, and how if he can like connect to somebody or he can hold on to something. And I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next episode. Just Mary. Oh crap! Accident. Jesus. This shot. Oh, I got stabbed her? Or they got stabbed? There is nothing wrong with selling out. That is part of politics, but when you do, you need to get paid in capital. I'm her off this time. The best I can tell, someone released a press release without her release. You might get a little perturbed, you follow? With a company like Roxxon, you are already rolling the boulder uphill. So? Oh. What are you going to do? That's your connection. About what? You want a role model? Look right there. Eight years ago, fate yeah. pushed us down hard. Mm -hmm. She got up first and picked us up with her. I know. You know that, right? Yeah, of course I do. Hell, <laughs> be more like her. Coach, you want four more like you on that court. I don't think I could ever live up to that kind of game. I don't think Larry Bird could. Did he hurt you? I'm fine, okay? I got lucky and stabbed him in the gut to put him down. Stabbed him with what? A knife, Liam. What else do you stab people with? Since when do you carry a knife? Okay, and where is it now? The knife. It's gone. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm positive. Pretty sure. What should I be hoping for? Hmm. 
If he's alive, then that means he can still ID me. If he's dead, then I killed somebody, which... Jesus. Which one should I be hoping for? Just control what we can control, okay? And losing my brother begat survivor's guilt, which begat compulsive tendencies, which results in bottled up anger. Old Testament verbs aside, you sound like you know what you're talking about. Except it's not anger in the bottle. You know what it is? It's poison. Coursing through your veins every day. You talking about finding that cop? I thought you moved past that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just... I'm talking about a what if. What if this guy really existed? What if I could find him? This poison running through my veins, doesn't it belong in his too? He planted, ye they shall I, 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 I want it up too. Ye their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he okay, shall cool. also blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the wind <laughs> shall take them away, bringing out their host by numbers. Someone who's living, living in the streets. By the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. She's not thinking the worst of somebody? Uh oh. Be alive. Ooh, found his pants undone. He's a good cop. Ends at a word. I like her already. <laughs> You'll need a much better one. Okay, how much better for how much? It'll run you guys eleven grand. <laughs> Bullshit. Situation you... you're in, you're going to need a new identity, clean uh, social, even an this... of record. Yeah, I got I a mean... guy I can throw in a credit rating too. Ooh, crap. Uh oh. Before you go in there, um, I'll be out in a bit. <sighs> Honey, before you say anything. Oh, anything like what the shit? Because what the shit, Mom? I wasn't certain whose it was. Mom, we bought this bag when I was seven, remember? We needed it for the injunction. You cannot be this stupid. Watch your mouth. This is my house. No, this is not a house. This is a temporary shelter, and that is not your boyfriend. He's just another asshole on a sex tour of the FEMA islands. Things must be getting tough because Tandy's gonna run away. If your father was still alive, I swear to God, he'd be heartbroken! <laughs> Wow. There he is. Well, Coach, listen, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I lost track of time. I didn't say stop. Okay. That's all on me. Look, I'll suit up and I'll take the punishment. Hell no. Stay in your civvies. Get up on the bleachers. Think about what you could have done different. This is a terrible coach. I wish somebody from the team would see this at least. I, I didn't mean that. You didn't mean to what? Mispractice? Hit that kid? Miss those two easy boards against Waverly? But what the hell are you guys doing? We're going to state finals next week and we're concerned that you're going to be screwing it up for us. Now listen, I promise I won't be... <laughs> you smile yeah I very much did yeah, but you didn't let me in well that would have been malpractice I know I don't come from money or, or class like you do but if you give me a chance I'll keep you safe I'll do what I can to make you happy I'll love you 
Always. run away from everything. I mean, whenever anything goes wrong or hell goes right, I, I hightail it out of town. Well, you <laughs> seem nice. Yeah, I can do that. You feel better now? They really, really do. Sorry. Tyrone, buddy. Drop the bat. He dropped the bat. Dang it, Tyrone. Well, it looked like he didn't look into it. Sorry. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Just down the car. Oh. May thinks you stole from the wrong person. Billy! Billy! Because you put too much on yourself. No, uh, no, it's important. No, 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 it's not. Look, I know you've got your demons, but everybody's got demons. If you just give me a chance, I can help you. We can handle it. I hope he doesn't die. Liam Walsh? You have the right to remain silent. Leave the light on for myself. We are fine. You don't know me at all. You don't know me. Our own buddy, come on. Swerving, what the heck? Oh, crap! Don't you cut off the. You! Okay, well, uh, not how I expected that was gonna go. Uh, there were bullet holes in the back of her car, though? It wasn't. Was it the back of the car? It looked like it was. It looked like it went through her windshield there. So, how did she. What is this? The, what are the what were the light daggers gonna do in terms of helping her? Not, you know, not get hurt from that. Does she get hurt from that? I mean, I don't think it would kill her. She just seemed to go into a tree. It was it like a ditch? I don't remember exactly where it was at the beginning. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be him. He would have killed the guy. He was going to. I oh, I thought maybe. Um, I don't know what was gonna stop him. Either he, I thought he was actually going to kill him. Like like it ended up he'd kill a guy and I don't know how he would cover that up or how he wouldn't get caught. But I didn't expect the power to work that way, or to work at that moment. The power, he needs to work on getting that thing to be reliable, because he really could have used that whenever those kids were beating on him. Man, those little punks. Yeah, okay, they're pissed off, but I mean, for real? <laughs> You're going to gang up on him? At the very least, you could have the, the guts to do one, like, on your own, not bring the some of the team to beat up on him. Like, and then they lock him in there? Like, you didn't think you're gonna, you were going to get in trouble if he didn't get out? Maybe the coach would, maybe, because this coach seemed like a terrible freaking coach. Like, 
this is a Catholic school. What kind of crap are they? I mean, I know they're not going to be like saints. They're still going to be. They're still kids, and some of them aren't going to be. Even if you're raised in a Catholic school or taught in a Catholic school or whatever, you're not going to always be the best person. But I'm just saying, like, the fact that the, these kids are ganging up on him and beating him, like, and this, okay, I get the coach. You know, he's punishing him by punishing them as well. Like, you know, you 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 lose a team and you get punished by as, as a team as well and whatnot. Yeah, okay. But now that also not was he not only was he having the whole team, you know, do these conditioning uh workouts, he's having Tyrone sit up on the stands, not doing anything, so that they can hate him? <laughs> like, what does that do? Okay, yeah, it's gonna make it maybe I mean, he's gonna make sure not to miss um, practice and arrive on time and whatnot, but I mean that really puts divide between the team, which is not, not something you want. <laughs> You're supposed to try to get the team to be, you know, a team, not to hate each other. That's <sighs> what a stupid coach. He is not. I don't like him. Pretty sure you're not supposed to, but God, I hate that guy. But yeah, are they linked? Cause he didn't just teleport. It, was he think, thinking about her or something? Cause it seems to work. At first, it seems like it worked. Like he's, I don't know, like whatever he's thinking about the time or something. Cause the rocks. I thought was a rocks on building. Is that where that dude's staying up at? Like a, an abandoned rocks on building. And that's why he teleported there. I didn't notice that before, and I apologize if it was blatant last time. Cause yeah, it, it just it seems like his powers work. At first, it seemed like they work on whatever he's thinking about. Um, and that's like at that moment, and that's where the power takes him. So I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to, like, that's how his teleportation works. But maybe, like, when he doesn't have a grasp on it, I don't know, like, what takes him there. Is it like what he's thinking? Because does he have to know where he's going? Because he was, if he doesn't, and if he was just think, like, does he can he tie it to a person? Is it because they're linked because of their powers, like, how they got them? Like, they were affected by the same thing? Again, I'm still wondering if that's the case, like, because I was, I think I said that last episode. Because, I mean, if he doesn't know where he's going, because he doesn't, he didn't know where she was going. Can he think about the person and appear to them? Like, whether he knows who they are or not, as long as he's thinking about them, can he just appear to them? Because he just, like, showed up, like, right in front of the car. I saw a little glimpse of what was going on, because apparently the video had, like, what happens at the end. Like, a, a, a preview, which sucks. Why would you, I hate that they put that in the freaking episode, but it gives, like, certain bits away. Yeah, I cut off before it went too far, and I tried to look away, but you could still hear it. But he's lucky it took him away when it did, or else he would have killed that guy, and then he'd be in big trouble. I mean, his mom's already worried enough as it is about him getting treated wrongly just for being, just because of his skin color. I mean, that kind of, unfortunately, that causes a lot of people to, to jump to conclusions or to assume and to act. I'm not really sure... If he'll still get in trouble, the fact that the guy, I mean, did he get a good look at him? I mean, he saw the gun, but did he see his face? That's I mean, the reason he ran was because of the gun, I'm pretty sure. And I thought, I also thought that when it last episode that the guy saw, like, what, um, what, uh, Tyrone saw, but I think it was just, like, it seems, I'm not sure if their powers work the same. Like, they both seem to have similar abilities and, like, Pulling thoughts from people's minds is what I think it's what it is now instead of memories. I don't because obviously that wasn't a memory what Tyrone saw from his mom. I don't know. It could be maybe it's just like straight up just thoughts. So thoughts and memories as well. So I'm wondering, is it like extracting it? His is, seems to be more extracting because um, again, both Tandy's mom and Liam didn't feel any kind of effect from you know. Tandy's ability of seeing thoughts or whatever it is, um, but with with uh, Tyrone is you know and the guy felt you know he he looked taken aback which I'm assuming now is more he was like drained or something because when it happened with the mom she just like kind of got dizzy or something. Um, I'm wondering if it's like forcing the memory or the thought out like pulling it out and then like that's how they're seeing it or if it's bringing those feelings to the forefront of the person that he's seeing their thoughts of and it, like just all that sudden emotion weighing down on them maybe I'm not really sure 
she definitely seemed shaken after that and less composed and yeah I don't know how this power works I don't remember it being like that being a part of his of their abilities they do seem to work differently though because again you know his effect they, they, they can feel something after from it with Tyrone with Tandy not so much so I don't know that I'm guessing it's just supposed to work differently um, they're just similar and again with Tandy it seems like not just you know when people are, are being terrible but it's also when they're trying when they're getting close she's pushing away and running away and it's at the very end she she leaves Liam which kind of again she's just scared which is what she keeps on doing is just pushing and running away but even when he called when he was um, being arrested which I'm not really sure why because I don't I mean I know he's conned people but I mean did they catch him on that because I'll get into that in a second um, but yeah he was he called her and saying that she needs her help and she's just gonna leave him I mean she has got to probably turn back now but she was planning on just leaving him but yeah why is the cop after him like how did he get tied up to it she was looking for Tandy she knows who she's looked like but Tandy was alone when she was at the ballet recital or whatever it was yeah I don't know what like what links them together from that unless she followed something else that led to them or maybe she's arresting him for what happened at the um, wedding because <laughs> she was seen with her there uh, he was seen with her there like she the the lady that candy talked to saw her with the other guy I think did she other people would have so maybe that's what drew her to him drew the cop to, to Liam I like her though thus far I mean I hope she doesn't I mean what they're doing isn't great so I'm not like upset with her for taking them and I mean I get what she, she's doing her job I did like how she kind of she didn't say a word like this I that was the first thing she said this whole episode actually she didn't say a word the entire episode which is weird like they didn't have any lines like her and that one cop that um, they had that scene later when she was in her car he brought her coffee still nothing said but I like how she when the interrogation um, I mean they didn't show her saying anything I mean she might have later on but I like how like she said nothing and that she like put the file down that she showed the fo their phone one of their phones and they had pictures of them and they were tied to the guy that was stabbed and just that they were starting to already break down they're so and that's a, they gave her the the they had a what's it what are they called I just blanked on what they're called the um the person that the sketch artist I is that the call I know it's a sketch artist that does it but like is that what they call whenever they're getting the the face of the person Either way, she got them to give a, uh, a description, and um, they did, sketch artists always do a really good job. It's crazy. But yeah, she didn't say, a, from what we saw, she didn't say a word, and they just, like, cracked. I do like, though, that the cop, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's getting, like, she understands what's happened with, with uh, the guy that was stabbed, because she saw a photo of, base of when they found him, he had his um, pants undone. So, or at least the belt. I don't know if he got more of it done. But I'm pretty sure she could put together the what exactly had happened, you know. So he was trying to rape somebody and then she got stabbed for it. So hopefully she's gotten that conclusion. I'm not sure what exactly. I mean, it's self-defense. Um, granted, she she might be wanted for other things she's done, you know, because of the, the money she's stolen. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I have for this episode, guys. Um, if there's more giving in this episode. Um, showing, you know, t more of Tyrone's struggles, obviously, with uh dealing with you know, the the weight of one having to survive or having survived um like the cop the encounter he felt like it probably feels like it's his it's his fault um and then like the coach and, and the team bearing down on him training him very unfairly and then what's it tandy i always forget her name it's just, it's just an unusual name dealing with her issues with intimacy and with issues that become too difficult for her uh, she just pushes things away and runs away 
Tamura ended up almost killing the guy. He would have if his powers didn't kick in and take him away. I don't know what exactly pulls them exactly. Like maybe I'm not sure what pulled him to to Tandium, so I'm not sure about that. Um, could be as simple as he was thinking about her for some reason about it at that moment. Like it wasn't meaning to, but it like flicked into his mind. And that's what he teleported to. I'm not sure what's happened. Not 100% sure what's happened in the next episode. I only saw a little bit. I know she survived it. I mean, obviously, even if I didn't see it, I knew she survived it. Seeing as it's cloak and dagger. And, you know, there's still this. There's more. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see what happens next episode. I hope she goes back for Liam. I don't know what the cop's going to do exactly, but, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens from there. Um, yeah, guys, that's it for this week's episode of Cloak and Dagger. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go and click the button right next to us, or right next to me. And if you want to stick around for next week's episode, go and click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when that and other videos come out, go and click the bell icon down below. Um, again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week.